hey folks so uh, in today's video i just wanted to like you know uh, talk about aws graviton processor um, and like basically try it out um, so this uh, processor based uh, you know vms uh, came up in aws around a year ago and uh, i am basically late to the party but um, i recently found out that you know uh, AWS has this um, cool new thing uh, that people have been talking about. Um, so this processor is actually based on um, ARM, ARM, and um, it's a 64-bit uh, ARM processor. And uh, I found out about this when I was uh, looking at this blog post by Travis CI. I'll put up these links in the uh, description. It's already there. You can check it out. Um, so uh, I found out this like. Uh, a few months ago when I was trying out Travis CI and I was looking at how to speed up the builds and whatnot, I noticed this whole thing about uh, Graviton 2. And this came up like a year ago when Graviton 2 was just coming out, right? And uh, you can see it, um, you know, that they're talking about uh, speeding up builds using AWS Graviton. Uh, this is assuming that you're okay with um, running your build test, uh, you know, pipeline on ARM. Um, but uh, if you are looking to test on, uh, let's say, uh, you know, AMD 64-bit um, uh, or other architectures like 32-bit, uh, then I guess you may not be able to use this uh, in your Travis CI. Um, so yeah, uh, but still Travis CI just has this support. Uh, if you want to just speed up your uh, build, let's say you have a cross-compilation build, uh, then you can build for many uh, architectures. Uh, from your uh, ARM 64-bit um, you know machine. Uh, so yeah, that's how I found out about uh, Graviton 2. And uh, there is also a very big uh, you know blog on uh, this Graviton 2. And uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Like um, you know, they don't talk much about the internals here uh, in this thing. They just talk about how uh, it's the best price per, uh, per performance uh, ratio. So you get uh, more performance and for a lower cost uh, compared to other instances. Um, uh, apparently there were T3 instances uh, and now there is a T4 uh, inst instance, like fourth generation instance, 4G. Um, and uh, you know they talk about uh, what kind of workloads can be good in this um, processor. And uh, they mention about uh, when there is bursts uh, of CPU at times, and uh, I don't think it's like a always uh, high CPU. At least that's what it says. Like um, that requires so only during times of heavy data. So uh, th so examples of production workloads that require a high CPU of performance, high CPU performance uh, only during times of heavy data processing. Uh, you know, uh, only those are exactly supported. Um, others, um, I'm not sure so much. Uh, but yeah, they have multiple sizes and apparently they also have a free uh, trial. So you can try them for free and uh, you can see that there's a free trial and uh, it's actually till uh, December 31st. This is an old data. December 31st, 2021, and I'm going to try out this uh, T4G micro instance, which is basically just a 1 GB memory and, uh, you know, two vCPUs. Um, and, uh, well, we can try it out now. And uh, you can use your um, AWS CLI, but I'm just going to use the web console. And uh, I'm going to be using the Amazon Linux, uh, uh, Amazon machine image. Um, and, uh, just simply log in and try out something. Uh, maybe try out Redis and like etcd, just run it. Um, so yeah. So uh, let's get started. And uh, if you want to actually find out how to try out uh, more or how to get more details, you can get go to these links and uh, understand. Uh, and the instance that we're going to try out is a general purpose um, processor based instance, T4G. There is also compute optimized and memory optimized. So memory optimized you could use for your databases. Uh, there's also like things like Redis and whatnot that you can use it for. Uh, one is best price performance ratio and then like another is the uh, lowest cost per GB of memory. Uh, so one is performance and the other is the uh, amount of memory. 
and uh, well you can also go to this github uh, repo and uh, you know check it out like this is the repo on how to get started with Graviton. so yep uh so i have uh, an empty list of ec2 instances so i'm just gonna go ahead and like launch an instance and choose amazon linux and choose arm because this comes up in arm and choose the free trial available t4g micro and then get a public ip and well i can keep everything else the same and storage i have 8 gb so can use that tags i could just say um project demo so i can know that it's only a demo and delete it off later and i'll choose uh, existing security group to actually just open up 22 port and we are good to go so i guess uh uh oops is that instance details storage is like eight gigs i think that is enough so i have a key so i'm just gonna go and say yes launch instance so with that uh my instance should be up and running in a few seconds and i can get this and uh, you know uh, put use my ssh thing and then easy to user art this and should be good yes let's see it's already running but the status text is still initializing that that's okay yep so we are in um so this is the amazon linux 2 and uh it's uh um thing let's see yeah you can see here um aar aar 64 so arm architecture 64 bit and uh, you can see it here too cool so what can we do now um let's run redis uh i could compile redis or uh, use a pre-built uh, redis so i think i'm just going to go ahead and like use a pre-built redis um so for which i'll just do a sudo yum let's try out yum so there's nothing to update and i could use this thing over here uh, called amazon linux extras which i can use to actually enable something so i can find if this red is here there is there is redis 6 so i can just enable redis 6 and it should be enabled and i can just do this to install it clean up the metadata and install redis okay i need to be root so oops yep yes that's it so you see that there is redis 6.2.5 and then it's um arm 64 bit so now if you just run redis server uh you should be good to go yep it's running so now you can like um uh, do things like you know just run uh when you say um benchmark redis cli and whatnot so i'm just gonna go ahead and like um EC2 user at the oops not this C2 user at this and let's type redis cli and you have that so you can check out the keys in this set food is good then get food yep and we can also just run a benchmark over here and yep 
So you can see the benchmark going on. And this is just a 1 GB RAM, um, you know, host machine. And uh, this will still be able to like run your benchmark without any issues. Like um, you can check out um, the one sec. Um, you can check out the memory usage uh, oops it's done cool it's fine but the memory usage is like very low I mean you still have like 785 MB left uh, so usage is like very less uh, even when the benchmark is running so you can easily run this and um, you can also try out for example something like etcd um, so yeah, let's try that out. EDCD and uh, let's go to the GitHub. And oops, that's the EDCD website. CD and then releases. And we can find that there is ARM64 um, bit hole here. So just copy that. And you can just do this. So now we have etcd tar and etcd. Cool. So now I can just move these etcd stuff from all of them to user local bin. And I should be able to just do etcd and pretty good. So now I can run something like um, etcd ctl and say member list. You can get that. And I can put and get data. So let's try that out simply. Put. So let's say. Mm, this food is good and if I just do not get awesome so yeah uh, well of course it runs um, and uh, I just wanted to try it out um, on Graviton and uh, I guess in the future um, I'll hear more about ARM and like you know Graviton and like more um, uh, cloud provider supporting uh, ARM because uh, looks like um, many workloads like for example say databases uh, and anything that requires a lot of like good hardware um, to perform really well uh, I think they'll all be depending on hardware improvements and um, looks like AWS has taken a good step towards that um, but yeah you can go try it out and like now let me know what you think in the comments and like try out the free trier and uh, you can actually find out the FAQ on the free trier um, in the description and uh, so currently you can use uh, till December 31st 2021 and you have 750 hours um, just a minute it should be here yep 750 hours free hours per month and it's like across all the regions um, so yep so this is all pretty free you can just keep using it for sanfty hours one instance sanfty hours or multiple instances across those sanfty hours free hours so yep so if you're into arm uh, or if you just want to test out your application in arm see if it builds uh, or if you have cross compilation uh, just build it uh, and like uh, use the pre-built uh, binary for example if you're using colang you should already have cross compilation support or even Raslang. so yep just try it out and see if uh, you know how your application works on arm and maybe see if if it can actually leverage uh, you know a better hardware uh, for better performance cool so that's all i had and uh, bye